Remember, remember the 5th of November. Northeast Ohio, November 5th, and it is 75-ish degrees. Oh, we got a little Indian summer going on here towards the winter months, which is super fine by me. God, I've been out of town and it's been so nice this week. I mean, it's been in the 70s. And I have not been able to ride because I've been out of town for work. 73 degrees, the sign says, on the 5th of November. How amazing is that? Forgot to buckle up my helmet, which is never good. Oh well, fuck it. If you hear some dinging around, it's probably just my strap. She's got 30 days on her plates and she like was looking over like she went to race me like come on you're on a fucking Jeep Liberty or a Ford Escape one of the two. Oh uh, we'll go this way. Fuck it. What I did there is I let him because it's it's the activated lights and I wouldn't have activated the light so I let him get in front of me so he his car would activate the light there. The little things about riding motorcycles sometimes. Oh, I know this is like the last ride of the year until the new season. Oh, and while I'm just kind of chatting to you guys, uh, something that I kind of seen more rampant lately that's kind of been bothering me is the talk about CCW and conce or, or concealed carry for those that don't know what that is. Concealed carry of a weapon and motor vloggers talking about it and their opinions on it. And here's my opinion. Everyone who deems that they should, that wants to carry should be able to, it's your legal right, it's second amendment, right to bear arms, yada yada yada. I'm not going to talk about whether or not that, you know, you should be able to, you shouldn't be able to. What I'm going to talk about is, you shouldn't be talking about, and I, this might sound kind of hypocritical in a way, I'm not sure, I don't know, but it's called concealed carry for a reason, and if you're going to carry, there we go. If you're going to carry, you conceal it for a specific reason. So people don't get nervous. People don't know you have it. That's the point. It's concealed so that others don't know you have it. And by talking about, oh, I conceal carry, you're, you're defeating the, the point. The point of concealed carry is so that nobody else knows that you carry. That's why technology has come out with, with inside the waistband holsters. Uh, with different cants and, and whatnot that keep the gun more discreet when you're carrying. When you tell somebody, oh, I conceal carry, you're not really concealed carrying, or I always conceal carry. No, at that point, yes, it's hidden, but if people know you have it, is it really concealed in that sense? So I, I just don't, I just like when people just talk about that topic. It's. You got people who are, it's, it's like abortion or politics. You got people who are so one way or the other about it. And it's, you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna win. People who are super anti-gun are always gonna be super anti-gun and people who are pro-gun are gonna be pro-gun. Damn, she got a fat ass. See if I can get that on camera and try to zoom in for you guys. She's a little thicker, but. All right, let's see if this guy, as he walks by, turns around and looks at her ass. Let's see. Nope, he did not, at least not in front of me. We're gonna go through a little river here, up here. Have a little fun. It's been a while since I've been able to hit any sort of twisties with any sort of speed. It's sketchy up here at this little, little park because it's always patrolled by police. So you can't get too get too crazy, uh, which I would like to be able to, but I don't know. We'll just see what kind of fun we have. Oh, I forgot to change the clock on my my bike for daylight savings time. I should probably do that. I was like, damn, it's all right. there's no way it's that time with it as light as it is right now. Yeah, so if you conceal carry, don't tell people you conceal carry. Just carry because you're legally allowed to. 
wherever you want to carry that's legal and be done with it. That's my opinion on that. Let's have a little bit of fun here in these little twisty turns here. Hopefully we don't get a car that turns in front of us so we can kind of, yeah, we can. No cops, no cops. Come on, dude. What are you doing? leaves people are not obeying their rules of the road here coming to a light here so I can't get a little that was a little bit of fun some little twisties there you know, like I said I have a little fun through there hopefully no cops saw me all right we're gonna come up to a little bit of a River here. Chia! Chia! He's got headphones on. Is this even running? I could walk faster than this lady's running. Chia! She's got on headphones too. It's kind of boring. Chia! Yeah! Alright, coming up to a creek here, so we're gonna go slow as f and hopefully we don't fall. We're gonna gauge it. It crosses the street here, and sometimes this part of the road is closed if the street is too high, or if the river, the creek is too high. All right, here we go. Dip, it says. Let's see how slow this Camaro goes through it with his waxed. Nobody behind us, so we can go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Trying to make me go through this in my motorcycle all fast and get hurt? Come on, here we go. Woo! Well, we don't die. All right. Yeehaw. Got a little slippage of the back tire. An old lady. She was like, go. Can't really kill it through here because it got wet tires right now from going through the river. And it's 25 and I'm not doing double it or anything. But I ain't. That shit never gets old. A stop sign up here, so I don't want to kill it through here. Because there's a stop sign around the other side of this fucking corner. Uh, and people fucking pull out in front of you. Maybe it's not this corner, maybe it's the next one. There's a walkway on this side, it'll be easier. Walking your dog through the fucking woods. Hello. It's hard being original as a moto vlogger. It really is, because there's so many out there. And the shit people do is fucking hilarious. Hey, that was a speed thing. I was trying to get it to go off, but it wouldn't. All right, we're coming up to that crick again, so we're gonna slow down. All right, 
Let's not pull a more bad ideas and crash in a river. Not that he crashed, but his buddy did. This car behind me is probably like fucking idiot. Passes and then what? Gets stuck behind another car? turn right here because the car behind us was a little upset I want to like ask that guy why she or that lady why she's so fucking mad that I passed her like honestly but that lady exactly right there is just like that guy Bill Crum that I talked about in one of my previous vlogs about when he swerved and hit that car and hit that motorcyclist it's people exactly like that lady that I just passed like just so angry for no reason like how would that in any sort of way why would that make you angry I don't understand like, how is me doing that affecting that person in the least? They didn't wait on me. They didn't do any, I mean, they literally, no, nothing happened to them. Their life remained unchanged from me doing that. Completely. But, there are people out in this world that literally, their whole life and agenda in life is to bring down other people or talk about other people and just I don't know generally be a, I guess a hater I don't know if that's a great term I don't really like using that word but I guess that's the correct terminology would be a hater it's just they're they're so upset like their life is so shitty excuse me coming through we're just gonna go right here their life is so shitty that they literally don't want anyone else to have any sort of resemblance of fun I always nod at the cops. That's 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 not suspicious or anything. <laughs> you give me a dirty look, I just like nod at him like, yeah, what's going on? That's the stop. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> uh, it was one of the workers riding one of the auto the motorized grocery carts. <laughs> and seemed really confused with how they were doing it. You don't understand. Snowcat, you don't understand the law. This moto vlog brought to you by other moto vloggers. That would be a great idea. Damn it, why do I always think of good ideas at the last the last day of riding? And then I gotta wait like the entire off season. Holy hell, there's a lot of cars. Oh my goodness, five o'clock, no wonder, on a Thursday. But yeah, God, my idea is literally, I don't know, I, I guess I'll have to go back when I get home and look this up. Doing vlogs as though you were another like vlogger, like doing an imitation vlog, as though like you were chased on two wheels doing a video and try to imitate how he does his videos and how he talks and how he edits and then, you know, trying a different person's style like six foot four hondas you know because everyone's got a little bit of a different style or different types of videos and then like zj moto vlogs zj moto vlogs baker x derek they don't really talk about specific topics they just kind of ramble about certain things i mean baker x derek can get on a topic sometimes but zj and, and zj can sometimes too but recently his more more recent videos are more of the just kind of having fun rambling on singing kind of videos where chase is more topic oriented you know he does it for a living so i'm sure he and i and i follow his second channel too so i i know he actually does this is he he kind of outlines his videos that he's going to come out with so he has general focuses on his videos where You'll see, and I'll give an example, it was Walt Terrific, when he does his Moto Monday and his Finally Friday. His Moto Monday is more of a compilation of just kind of funny things that happened throughout his riding throughout the week or that he's had on his, on his got caught footage of. 
make sure I'm still recording. Yes, I am. Good. Um, and then it's finally Friday is more of a topic oriented moto vlog. You know, your more stereotypical type talking moto vlog. Royal Jardanian, he doesn't really talk, he, or he doesn't talk really much in his videos. He just posts his random random video footage that he gets as he rides to work or rides through his crazy ass town. But it would be interesting to kind of see if you could channel, like I watch all these guys videos so I kind of know what they like to do and how they like to edit. Because everyone kind of keeps their style which is good. It would be kind of boring to find somebody who in your style differentiates so much between videos. It would be hard to stay focused on, you know, that vlogger or know what to expect from that vlogger. So it's, you, everyone's got their little bit of a style. So it'd be interesting to see if you could pull off trying to imitate their videos. Like if I was doing a ZJ Moto vlog right now, I would literally just be talking shit and then singing. Some of them would be a little harder, like Hunter Honda, he kind of, he's kind of topic oriented and then just, he's like, he's got ADD where something will catch his attention <laughs> and he'll just instantly drop his topic and just change to that, whatever that focus is, like a hot girl where he just like, hello, that shit is so funny. That'd be interesting to try. Maybe I'll try it sometime. Next season, next season, next season as though. My next season is winter, right? Yeah, I think so. Is that Walter Riffix Jeep? Alrighty guys, that's gonna basically wrap up this moto vlog. Thanks for following on this bike adventure, as Baker X Derek would say. And we, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this type of video. It's a little different than the type of videos that I've been doing, uh, just where I'm more focused on topic oriented. It was really fun to shoot this vlog though. I had a lot of fun. Got some fun into twisties, had some fun laughing and imitating some other moto vloggers very briefly. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So as always guys, please like the video, share it to your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Twitter, because I just got a Twitter and Instagram, at Throttle Lock TV, just like my YouTube. I think it's Throttle Lock TV, or is it Throttle Lock? I think it's Throttle Lock TV. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Throttle Lock TV. I'll put the links in the description. Annotation on the screen, probably. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces! Yeah, that was a Cycle Cruiser reference, finally. And, of course, the final. Just check, making sure everything works. Left turn signal, right turn signal, and both brakes. Uh, just to verify that it does work. If it doesn't, just uh, adjust the wiring as needed. Uh, you may notice that the turn signals are backwards, and you just need to reverse. Uh, that's primarily why we use spade connectors. Again, thanks for watching, guys. As always, please.